So I want to show you how to cook with grains, legumes. That's one of my goals here. I want to teach people how to cook with whole grains and legumes because they're so healthy and they're so nutritious. They're packed with fiber. I want to show you how to cook grains and legumes because in the culinary side, these grains and legumes just pop your dish. It just makes it elegant. It makes it different. When you hit the culinary side, you definitely want to play around with grains. You want to play around with legumes. And I'm here to show you how to do it. We are going to make a soup and then we're also going to steam it so we can look at the difference. And the grains that we're going to be using today is uh, brown rice, wild rice mixture, gray lentils, black lentils, and our wild rice, brown rice mixture. So into a pot, we're going to add a few ingredients. So I want to add here some bell pepper and chili. I want to add some green onion. I have here a mix of spices. So I got some oregano, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, sage, and peppercorn. And I'm going to add four garlics into a mortar and pesto. I like to use wooden. And then I like to add some Himalayan salt, coarse. Just add about a teaspoon. I have here a bay leaf. I'm going to add that into the pot. And I'm just going to mash up the garlic. All right, once the ingredients become a paste, you're done. And you just want to add that in there. And with the heat, you're going to sizzle it the ingredients down so the natural oils can come out. I do not feel like crying today so I do not want to use onions. Those ingredients are very aromatic right now. They have infused all their flavor. Now we're going to add our grains and our legumes. These are, let's take a nice look at it. They are black legume, black lentils, which look like this, and the silver lentils, which looks like that. You can use any kind. And then the whole grains. Okay. I have some filtered water and I'm just gonna add it to the pot. Ideally, we want to submerge these grains and we want to add even a little bit more water. So I would say about three times as much water. So for example, if we're measuring that, if you add one cup of the grains, you're gonna add three cups of water. So you're gonna triple that. Now we're just gonna let this cook and I'm gonna show you how to steam it so we can see the difference. You can have it kind of like a stew or soup, kind of like what we're having it here, or you can try it a different way and you can see whichever one you like. So real quick, I'm actually going to add tomatoes. I deseeded them and cut them into medium-sized shapes. And I'm going to add them at the end of the soup, once the soup is done. So I deseeded it. And long story short, I have the seeds right here. And I'm going to put it into a blender, add some water, and I'm going to blend it up. Just enough to submerge it. Breaks my heart to throw away tomato seeds. So I prefer to blend them and just add them to the soup or the dish that I'm making. In this case, I'm making the grain and lentil soup. So I'm going to add it here. So here I have the same grains, one cup of the lentils, one cup of each of the lentils, and a cup, a half a cup of the grain mix and then I also added a half a cup of quinoa. All I'm going to do is add water all the way to the top. I want to submerge these ingredients. Perfect. And then I'm going to add a bay leaf and some garlic. And I got this, I got these garlics that are already peeled and I froze them. It does change a little bit of the, of the effect. 
but you can use this garlic in like things that you don't really have to saute or taste the garlic kind of like this i'm gonna pull it out anyways but you can still get the flavor so but and also the flavor and everything else is preserved because it's frozen and i'm just gonna put it for 60 minutes it's gonna take about an hour the good thing is that there's a timer and it'll turn off all right we've come to the last step and the last step is just i'm gonna add the tomatoes and the cilantro now you can add parsley if you don't like cilantro. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family. A delicious lentil soup and steamed lentils. You get to try both ways, whichever one you like. So any way you want to eat it or serve it up will be your preference. Like, for example, if you want to, you can definitely steam the your lentils and grains like this as a batch and then you can make them in soups and that'll be like a faster way or you can put these in salads i like to just eat them like that with a little bit of veggies and some sriracha or some hot sauce something like that and this i'm just going to eat it like that and i'm going to eat it with some hot sauce or and some cilantro maybe on top and that's pretty much it because it already has lentils it already has the the whole grain so you don't need to eat this with rice you can just eat it like that so anyways thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye